twice. I don't think she's gonna make it without without me getting a couple more supplies. I need another couple marker tabs. Her system is a little bit active. I'd like to just calm her down a little bit. I'm running a little bit low on bandages. You know, it's been a hard month. We lost a couple people to the infected in the junkyard. Um, I was talking with Evan, and I think it'd be best if uh, if we patch things up with the folks from the city in the city. I really think that there are answers to getting more supplies. You know, they got that old ancient hospital out there. They got another couple of supplies out there. I think we need to make good with them. It's always possible, and she sort of shakes her head, puts her hand to her brow, wipes a little bit of sweat away. She's obviously been working really hard. She says, it's entirely possible that we can put things together with, uh, with the folks out in the Warrens, in the junkyard, but you know how that went, Emberly. You know that it's not a nice place to be this time of year. Yeah, yeah. Do you think I, I'm okay to travel to to deal with this, or what? What do you recommend as far as that goes? I mean, I I could definitely put a crew together. We can go over there try to sit sit all the situation. But you know, you know how these guys get. They're a little hot headed. They they get a little too hard and they go aggro on people. I, we can't be having that. We gotta. I need to, I need to be there with them. She um, she laughs a little bit. She says. <laughs> Yeah, ever since uh, ever since they came in town, Evan's really been he's been real wild. That Bubba though, he's uh, he's a real nice boy. Seems like a real nice boy. But um, listen, I uh, tell you what, you should give it say a week, and then I think you'll be healed up enough that you can go out, start doing some uh, some trading, some relationship building. Emberly, you know. You just, you have this gift with people, Emberly, and that's what drew me to you in the first place. You have this way of, I guess it's just your vision of the way things could be. You really, you convinced me. She's sucking up a little much, so I'm going to kind of read her just to make sure that she's like telling the truth, that she's really, okay, to see what she's really feeling. Yeah, uh, go ahead and read a person. Roll, roll plus sharp. Eight. Eight. Okay. So you get to ask one of those questions as you interact with her. So I'll let you go ahead. You're in the middle of the interaction right now. So go ahead and ask one of those questions. Hmm. All right. She was just talking about me and whatever yeah I do kind of you know wish that we could we could do something else with with what we have I mean if I agree with you we could we could make amends with these guys and I mean even junkyard folks we need we need to make amends with them too but it's all in due time right and like you said we got some some things that we need to deal with right now but I mean, how are you feeling? You've been you haven't been sleeping much. I know you're trying to really help twice here. Are you are you feeling okay? What what's going on with you? She nods. She she sort of like glances back towards twice and fuse where they're you can sort of see them through the the curtain. And like the the room in there is just kind of softly lit with like one sort of oil burning lamp. And fuse is sort of knelt down beside twice and he's just very t- quietly talking. And um she turns back to you. She says, "Oh, nothing. No, I'm. I don't know why you're. Uh, I don't know why you're asking that. But it's very clear to you that, um, you know, maybe like maybe Kettle has a little, a little emotion going on for Fuse or Twice or you know the two of them together. It seems like um, really what she's feeling is fear that she's not going to be able to save Twice for Fuse." Them feels. Right. Them feels, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Kettle, we'll do our best. I'll like you said, I'll I'll try to I'll try to handle, you know, some of the stuff with through other people and uh try to make things move a little bit faster than just a week. But I'll I'll take it easy for a week if I can, and I'll try to get you as many supplies as we can. If, can you make us a list too of what you need and we'll try to try to make sure we get that for you. 
Yeah, Kettle, uh, she walks into her kitchen, grabs like a, like, paper is rare, right? So maybe she's got like a chalkboard. <laughs> so she comes back out with like an old chalkboard and like a little nub of chalk. And she like scrawls on it. And she's got really bad doctor handwriting. So like, you know, you see like narco, narco stubs and, you know, like, you know, plum tibs. All sorts of like weird, like it's a crazy list of nonsense uh, dextromethorphan, you know, who knows? Um, she hands it to you. It's nearly illegible, but you've got the list. <laughs> she says, Emberly, thank you for that. I'll thank you kindly for bringing me what I need. Now, uh... We always try to do our best. Evan! And, yeah. Where were you? Oh, he was well, trying to find Fuse. <laughs> I was trying to find Fuse. Yeah. And you know, really, I'm kind of like mulling over what Kettle had told me because I, I don't, I don't know that the rest of the group really knows the situation with the city and the city, and I'm just really kind of racking my brain on how the fuck we're going to make that happen. Yeah. So you, uh, you get to Fuse's place. Yeah. And um, doors open. What do you do? Um. Well, um, I'm. I will. I will cautiously enter. Okay. Uh, you, uh, you push open the door. Um, you know, like, how do you feel about Fuse? Um, I, I mean, me and Fuse have had our differences, but it's yeah. pretty much, uh, it's pretty much like a straight level of trust, you know? Like, he's, he's done me good, I've done him good. I don't yeah. think that either of us particularly likes one another, but I do feel like we know that we have to sort of coexist, and that's how yeah. we, we have a strictly professional relationship. Yeah. Uh, all right. So you you step in. You're you're a little bit cautious, but you're not like freaked out or anything. Yeah. Um, Call you get inside and like, like you find out that like the inside of the crane, um, it's almost like bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Like he's got like a whole bunch of posters tacked to the wall, and like there's a whole bunch of like pinup girls, but all of them have like a picture of twice like cut just her head like pasted on the head of these pinup girls, and like. Where the seat would be of the the crane is actually like a hole in the floor. What do you do? Well, I'm I'm gonna I mean, first off, taking note, like everything that I've seen from Fuse makes sense now. That he's you know, he told me that he'd owe me a favor if I helped out twice. Well, he's obviously got some sort of fanatical thing for this this woman. So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna look in the, the hole because this this crane is it's I've been curious about this crane for about a month and a half now so better believe i'm yeah i'm gonna take a peek in yeah go down the rabbit hole <laughs> yeah right. totally okay so uh you look down there and there's like it goes down to the ground and there's actually like a hatch on the ground like with a with like a little turn you know Steven, uh, i swear to god wheel. if you make a lost Bullshit oh my god! I'm, done. I'm so excited right now. Oh, there's like some numbers on the <laughs> role no, 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 play no. R and D is over. <laughs> Two, three, <laughs> sixteen. Okay. Yes. Um, no, it's just a it's just a hatch. It's just a, can a I, wheel. Can I can I open it? I mean, can yeah, you I, pull like, on I want it to give it a tug. And uh, it creaks and it 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 jerks for a second and then it gives and it opens and you pull the hatch open and you see like a a, a warm yellow light glowing from in there. So upon seeing the light, I'm going to go and lock Fuse's door. Okay. Because I'm going to go down in there and try to find out what the hell this is. So I go yeah, and lock you, his you door. You swing close the door of the crane and you punch down the little right. you know, dongle that sticks up to lock the door. Yeah. And I'm going to go down in there. All right. You, there's actually a ladder. You start like clanging your way down the ladder and you get down into the bottom and like it's actually a very spacious room. And it's a uh, it's a well lit, well provided for workspace. There's like a couple of workbenches. There's like a half, like it's like a sawed in half uh, car uh, shell. There's like a couple of engines hanging from the ceiling. Um, what do you do? Um, I mean, obviously, like I I, I guess I just want to look around and and sort of see see what i can find uh, i mean i assume this is like fuse's workspace but i'm really curious now so i just want to i want to poke around i want to open some drawers and shit okay um you open a couple of drawers you find like a couple of like 
drills and in one of them you actually find like a power drill but it doesn't have a cord like the cord is sort of ripped off and it's just like some some empty wires hanging out of the end of it and uh, you go back to like a work desk where there's like a whole bunch of stuff just sort of written on the surface of the desk and you pull open a drawer and um, and and the drawer actually like catches as you pull it open and the map that's on the wall, it's just like a crudely drawn map in like crayon on like some animal hide. It actually flips over, thunk. And there's like a huge picture of Bubba there. What? Yes. And there's like pins with like strings all over this board to like all sorts of stuff and like there's one at the top that says if you ain't first you're last <laughs> and like there's something at the bottom where like someone's written Shazza question mark and like um, like at the bottom someone's written Lambo Lambo 2 question mark and uh, like this shit's weird man what the what the like, fuck I'm, I mean can yeah. I uh, do I do I tell like this guy does it seem like off of the based off the information I'm seeing that he has a thing like he wants to get rid of Bubba or he's just really interested in him? Like I want to try to read what I'm seeing on the board. You take you take a second to like really check this over. Um, and would you roll to act under fire for me, please? Like you're a little weirded out now. Okay, so – Hard, right? Uh, it's, it's plus cool, it's cool, but for you, it's plus hard, right? Yeah. Right. And I think you get points for that, yeah? Yeah. 11. Oh, yeah. Nice awesome. roll. Yeah. That's okay. Level, um, <laughs> you managed to, uh, you managed to, like, really quickly check through everything, look in a couple more drawers. Um, it doesn't look like he's, like, mad about Bubba or, like, you know, he doesn't intend any harm to Bubba. It's almost more like he's like fascinated by Bubba. Like what? Huh. What is okay. this guy all about? And what is this religion he's got? And why is he so fucking good with cars? <laughs> like that keeps coming back over and over again. There's like oh, all sorts okay. of pictures of like internal combustion engines and like like there's like one with like a uh, Lamborghini shell drawn around it or a Porsche c- shell drawn around it and like a bus shell and just like it seems like he's just like really fascinated with Bubba and his like supernatural connection with vehicles. So what do you do now? Uh, well, you actually you sort of hear like someone <clears throat> singing to themselves from outside Um like your ear okay. just perks up. You can tell they're they're very far off, but you can tell that fuse is coming this way. Okay, so obviously I'm I'm like going shit. I'm a little panicked under time. So what I do is I take some of the pins and I just like randomly shift them around on the board. Yeah, and then I shove I shove the the thing closed. Yeah, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna head back up the ladder. Okay, awesome. And all right, you. Get- uh, I mean, assuming what I'd like to do is get up the ladder and then just basically sit inside of Fuse's house waiting for him. Okay. No problem. Are you closing the door? Like the, the hatch? The hatch, yes. I would like to make it, you know, as so I, I don't know anything about it. You're just going to sit inside of his house? <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, going to wait man. for him. You're crazy. Someone in the chat is talking about the Bubba Saya. <laughs> yeah, I saw Bubba Session in there too. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so so uh, Fuse comes walking up and he pulls on the door and it doesn't open. <laughs> and he looks in the window and he says, Evan? Evan? What the hell are you doing in the crane? <laughs> I, 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 uh, I open up the door and... Uh, Fuse, I, I've actually been waiting for you. Fuse pulls open the door. He says, What the fuck, Evan? This is my house. What the fuck? Well, uh, the door was actually open when I came in here. I, I came to, to pass the message from Kettle that, uh, that, that she wanted you over there to talk to twice. And I figured that I would just, you know, go ahead and, and, uh, wait for you here. Um, I just shut the door, but it was wide open when I left. Did you perhaps leave in a hurry? He looks at you. He says, Oh, um, 
Yeah, yeah. I had to go over to uh I had to go over to Matilda's place. Uh listen, Evan, why don't we uh why don't we go see why don't we go see Kettle? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. After you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh he he sort of holds open the door to let you out right after him. Do you follow him? Yeah, I follow him. All right. He um uh he he starts walking off towards Kettles and um he says, "Oh, oh, Evan. Uh listen, do you like do you like poker, Evan?" I uh, yeah. I like poker. I don't like to lose, but I like poker. He says, well, Evan, I got to admit, I love poker. I like winning. I like losing. It's all fun. Hey, come with me. And he turns down a side alleyway. What do you do? Um, I mean, at this point, I'm like, Fuse, you know, uh, less than 12 hours ago, you were sort of a, a babbling fool over, over twice. Like, poker? What's... What's going on here? We have time for poker right now? Uh, he sort of looks around. And he says, um, you know, yeah. Uh, uh, listen. And, uh, like, you know, you're probably just at the very entry point of this alleyway. And he reaches out and he grabs you by the shirt and he pulls you close. And he says, Evan Masters, so help me God, if you ever enter the crane again without my being there and expressly admitting you, I will put your face so far through your body that it's going to come out of your butthole. <laughs> and he just lets go. What do you do? Oh, man. You really fucked up, Fuse. <laughs> I grab Fuse and I just start fucking running him into the alley as far oh, as fast shit. as I can until okay. I hit something. Just fucking grab him and start running. Get right. ready to go to the wall. Seize by force. Roll that 2d6 plus hard. Nine. All right. Choose two. Um, so I am, uh, I am definitely, um, so I'm taking control of the situation <clears throat> mm -hmm. and I want to frighten my enemy in doing so. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you, you like run him down the alleyway and you slam him into, um, into the door of uh, some random shack, some car door that's back there. Um, what do you say to him once you're back there? Um, as we, like, slam through the door, I'm assuming maybe we're, we're down. I've still got him by yeah. the hands. And I say, Fuse, I saved you. I saved your, your girl twice. You told me you owed me a favor, and this is how you repay me? When I'm delivering a message from Kettle to you... Fuse, you may think that you know who Evan Masters is, but you do not fuck with me or I will fuck <laughs> you up. Yeah. So he, uh, like, he pees his pants. You know, he's just sitting there. You see, like, a little warm puddle spread on his crotch. Uh, he, like, twists himself out of your grip. He says, God, Evan, what the fuck? And then he goes running down the ha down the alleyway, out of your sight. He turns a corner. What do you do? Dude, you know what? This place is so fucked up that I'm just going to sit down here in the alleyway and rest for a moment. All right. Yeah. Um, the door opens, and uh, someone pokes their head out, and they say, What the hell is going on out here? Oh. He points at you. He says, Hey, aren't you... Uh, Aren't you Bubba's friend? <laughs> and it's um, it's Chack, the bartender. Yeah, yeah, that's me. He says, "Oh, yeah, you look like you could use a drink." Friend, that I can. You pour outside of your establishment? Uh, yeah. He says, "Yeah, I'm, let me go inside. Let me get you a cup." He walks back in. 
comes back out, a bottle of grain alcohol in one hand, two glasses in the other, pours two shots, hands one to you, takes one himself, says, friend, why don't you tell me what's going on? Well, I, I hope you got a little bit of time, buddy, but uh, a long story short, frankly, I think that the assholes who run this place don't quite appreciate what I do for them. And I understand, like, you're trying to run a community here, this fucking infected run around everywhere, like, you're constantly under attack. I get it. You got to run a tight ship. But you know what? There, it takes people to get shit done. And so far, the only thing I've observed here over the past month and a half is that shit's not getting done. And I'm so sick and tired of being met with resistance every single time I'm trying to do something for these guys and they fuck it up somehow. Jack is just nodding along. He says, yeah, 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 Evan. God, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, absolutely. You know... You know, I just think that uh, these guys out here, you know, Evan, they're, they're having such a hard time. Who's, uh, who's, who's irritating you these days? Who's, what's going on? What's the problem? Well, you know, I mean, one second, uh, if Fuse uh, has my back and he's oh, asking Fuse. me for, for help, the next minute he's trying to intimidate me and telling me not go inside his crane. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You went and Fuse's his crane? His door was wide open. I thought, you know, Ooh. maybe something happened to Fuse. Fuse was in containment just 20, like, less than 24 hours ago. Like, his door's open? Does anyone not, like, huh, huh, work? guess what? There's fucking infected everywhere. You know that old saying from the old days? If you see something, say something. I was fucking doing something. Uh, man, Chak pours you another drink. It's a double this time. He says... I think you need this. Grab it. Damn straight I do. <laughs> All right. Uh, he says, listen, as long as I've been in town, ain't nobody ever gone into Fuse's place without Fuse. He's real protective of his shit. He just had a hard time. Twice is in intensive care. Who knows if she's going to make it. I think you might want to just back off on him a little bit, okay? He's, uh, you know, he's a, he's a real special case. Fuse and I don't always, we don't always see eye to eye. Jack, you know what? I appreciate this talk. I want to, I want to, I want to clean glasses with you because I think I understand what this place needs now. It needs a real leader. He and I think us. I might be that real leader. <laughs> He sort of laughs. He said, <laughs> yeah, well, you know, good luck getting that over with Emberly. She and Eli are pretty close. Yeah, uh, uh, I I'm aware, but uh, if there's two people in this place that, that respect what I'm bringing to the table, it's, it's those two. So I can at least start working on it. Chess, you're a good man. He nods. He says, yeah, yeah, well, you know, I... Uh, I need to tell you something too, Evan. Just something I gotta get off my chest. Fire away, son. He pours you both another shot. He takes his. He says, you know, Evan. <coughs> Whew. That just recently found me, Lord Junior. <laughs> it's a glorious thing to be filled with religion, isn't it? And that's where we're going to call it for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So let's roll oh. through our end of session move. Sure. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bubba. Yeah. Would you choose one character who knows you better than they used to? Uh... I guess, fuck. I don't know who I did, who I had more interaction with this show. Uh. Yeah, you had you were interacting with your followers a lot more this show. Yeah. But it was it actually was pretty rad. I I guess I guess I'd say Emberly because I I kind of gave Evan the shitty car out of the two in a sense, where yeah, I gave Emberly what she wanted and yeah, in a sense, and I gave Evan just kind of the shit. 
You gave him what he wanted, but not intentionally. Yeah, not intentionally. Right, right. So okay. yeah, I think I think Emberly. So Emberly, add plus one to your history with Bubba on your sheet. All right, Bubba, that puts us at plus two. Nice. Woo! So Emberly, who knows you better than they used to? I'm going to have to say Evan this time around. You know, we okay. were rolling in the beginning together. Um, Bubba was kind of being a douchebag to me on the way there. So, although I will say that the car thing was really rad, but I didn't really get connect with him before that. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. let's save the two, Evan. So, Evan, add plus one to your history with Emberly. Okay, and... I also turned around to save her. That's a good point, chat. So, yeah, definitely Emberly. Sorry. Uh, did you say that it puts you at four, Evan? Yeah. So make that plus one and add XP. Yay. Beautiful. And I, I guess I'll tell you what, on my next session what I'm going to use for my level. I'm not quite cool. sure yet. No problem. Take a thought. Oh, no. Uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader crashed. Um, Evan, tell me who you think knows you better. So do, you do I have to choose uh, a, a PC? Could I? Yes. Because okay. it's only the history is only really for people. Okay, I was just wondering. Okay, um, so I'm probably gonna say I'm probably gonna say Emberly because it's like the second or third time I've seen her fucking fiddle with her bracelet, and I'm just still kind of like, what the hell is going on over there? So I feel like I'm starting to sort of figure out r- relying on that a little bit. So I'm yeah. gonna have to say Emberly. So Emberly, add plus one to your history with Evan Masters. Puts me at plus two with him as well. Awesome. So let me just make sure that I've got everybody clear here. Bubba, you have plus one with Emberly, plus one with Evan. Yep. You have zero experience bubbles marked. Oh, cameras died for some reason on my oh, end. Oh, it's the Beach four hours. Hours. I just noticed that, sorry. All right, Bubba. So do you have zero XP currently marked? Bubba. Uh, sorry, what? Oh, uh, do I have four XP? How much? I have you, you at zero. Yeah, no, zero, zero. That's. I thought you said four. Good. I totally and gotten, zoned out and was reading chat. <laughs> and you've gotten a new driver move, and you've got a garage, right? Yes. yes. And your new driver move was collector and two additional cars, which yep. are the two you gave to them. Yep. Beautiful. And That's very kind, good sir. <clears throat> Emberly, you have plus one with Bubba, plus two with Evan. And plus two with Bubba right now. Okay. Plus two with Evan and plus two with Fuse. Plus two with Fuse, right. And I have two experience points at the moment, and I have three improvements checked. Yes. Yeah, plus one hard. You got two new touchstones. Yeah, I still have two harms checked. How does that work? Uh, So within a week, you'll reduce that to one harm. And then, you know, probably in another couple days, you'll reduce that to zero harm. It's just going to take you some time to heal up. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And Evan Masters, the gun lugger. You've got plus one with Emberly and plus two with Bubba? Correct. You've got three improvement points checked? Um, No, I have one improvement point and I've got a level. Yes, and you have to figure out what you're going to spend that on. Right. All right. Sounds fine. All right, guys. Cool. All done. Well, we get to do some shout-outs here. So, uh, Marcus, why don't you start us off? Um, was was great session. Thank you, uh, as always, to the players and, of course, our MC Stephen. Really appreciate it. Uh, if I just want to say happy holidays to everyone. Is uh, I'm sure shows are going to be sort of like ramping down a little bit um, yep. for the the next week and the holidays. But uh, you know, hope you guys all have a good holiday. And I'll be streaming uh, throughout the that time. So uh, Twitch.tv slash DJ Wheat. Thanks, guys. Uh, Maggie, go ahead. Yeah, I want to say thank you, all of you guys. Great episode. I mean, it wasn't as funny as the past ones, but lots of serious shit went down, and it was really rad. Um, That's good. And thank you guys for all, everyone who's watching. I really appreciate it. We wouldn't be doing this without you, right? And uh, I'll be streaming as well. You can check me out, twitch.tv slash Luperza. And I'm I'm down for for playing during the holidays. I don't know about these fools, but thank you again. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I think I leave. I'm Monday through Friday. I'll be gone. So, 
Uh, but we'll get to that right after this. Steve, do some shout outs and then we'll get to it. Oh, thanks, you guys. Uh, I have so much fun with this game. Just how, like, the the travel into the canyon can all of a sudden turn into some horrible catastrophe of epic proportions. It's just hilarious. <laughs> so thanks to y'all for playing. Thanks to everybody for watching. I am, if you didn't know, the lead level designer on a game called Warhammer 40,000 Eternal Crusade. It's a PvP-based Warhammer 40,000 40, game, and it's going to be awesome, and you should check it out if you haven't already. And... Um, I'm going to be around for a while over break, so if you want to do something next Saturday, I can probably do it earlier in the day, but that's totally up to you guys. Uh, I think we should be clear for next Saturday. <laughs> the only thing that I uh, would say that might schedule over that is if we do a Dark Heresy, but I don't know if that'll happen or not. Um, I don't know when people get back. I don't know if they'll be busy, et cetera, et cetera, and I won't. Fortunately, I won't be back till Friday, so maybe it is just best if we plan for R&D next Saturday. Um, hmm. Can everyone make that? Yeah, I can make it. Yep. Okay, we can do like a, a 1 p.m. EST start time. Yeah, that'd be good. I'll, that, I'll bring a, I'll bring holiday cheer. Is that too early my... for you, Maggie? Because it's probably too early for me. <laughs> <laughs> what time would it be my time? Uh, one o'clock Eastern. Ten. It'd be ten, 10 Pacific. Ten a.m. my time. I could like, do ten a.m. Yeah. for you guys. I could do ten a.m. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So yeah, we'll just we'll do next week, and then uh, we'll just straight up cancel the dark heresy that I said might happen next week uh, five <laughs> minutes ago because it's going to get canceled anyways. Uh, apart from that, like I said, I leave on Monday and I'm back uh, back in town on Friday. The last live show is tomorrow, which is going to be the state of the game uh, holiday 2013 edition with myself. Weed will be there in control. Uh, Day 9, Tyler, and I think that's five. We, yeah, yeah. Nice. That's well, all. Awesome people. Yeah, and uh, that'll be going live right here at uh, twitch.tv slash jp at 8 Eastern. Uh, I think we're going to go for two hours uh, with a strict cutoff point because I do have to pack and, and get ready to go home and all that nonsense. So uh, that'll be tomorrow. And then Monday, uh, since I'm going to be gone Monday through Friday, we won't have any live content. But we've got a bunch of content already prepared for YouTube. We'll also have State of the Game VODs. We'll have VODs of this uh, all the way up until next Saturday. Also got Evan Bod, Evan, that's hard to say, Evan Vods, uh, and I think that's it. I think we're good. Uh, are any of you guys streaming tonight? I, I think, think I might. might. Yeah. Okay. We'll go check out twitch.tv slash DJweed and twitch.tv slash, what, is it Perfect okay. Storm or is it Luperza? Luperza. Luperza. I, I, I want Luperza. I mean, Luperza is my gamer tag for almost everything. It's just, I can't get it on Twitter because some jerk stole it. It's rough. Yeah. Jerks. <laughs> yeah, tweet at them and tell them they're jerks. There you go. Well, go check out those streams. I might stream. Uh, we could play Battlefield 4, actually, if you guys wanted to. I don't want to control your might game. Might be down but... for that. I'll should hit play you... Planet Side 2. <laughs> we could. We maybe could. Uh, I'll hit you guys up after the stream, but uh, we'll go ahead and close this out. So, guys, thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll see you next Saturday, 1 o'clock EST. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Everyone have a good, uh, good Christmas and holiday break. We're out. See Cheers. you guys later. Bye, guys.